What's cooking folks, Vermilion Phoenix here, and today we're jumping back into some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. This time we're going to be going into Freeze to Meet You, and we're going to do it with Hogarth, who is the last hero I have to do it with. He is arguably the hardest with the lowest damage output, but there's a few ways around that, and I'm going to try to walk you through it. Here we go. I'm ready to fight. All right, here we go. So now that we're in... Most important thing is to make sure that our Moon Guardian is on that particular Guardian location. Uh, he will act as both a mana battery and a significant source of damage. So we're going to drop that Solve Arctos there, which is also going to be a good amount of damage that we'll be dealing early. And then we're going to place some Ice Shards. And we're going to block off these two fringe areas around the Guardian to prevent enemies from moving through them easily. Alright, with that done, I'm going to hit Z, and we're going to greet the enemies over in this corner, or I should say by this gate. When they come out, we're going to pop Hogar's shield ability, and then they will hit me a few times, and it'll build up his damage early, which will help us take them down a bit quicker. Alright, so there we go. And now as we're swinging, we're going to kite backwards, and just make sure that we're getting some good hits in. Now when the enemies turn that corner and they start to get over towards the traps, we're going to ambush in and sort of keep them glued to this corner here. Our goal is really to make sure that they take a bit of damage. When ambush cools down, we're going to fire it again. And now we want to sort of back off as shield is cooling down so that we can use it again. Then, when our HP is really low, we're going to switch over to the Ice Amulet and start firing it from a safe location. Quick casting the Mage's Clover. Alright, we're going to take Health Hems so that we can reinforce the damage bonus or damage reduction bonus that a Shield gives us. And then gonna hop back over here for some added HP regeneration. I believe the rift is a little bit better at that. Alright. Guardian's good for mana though. Alright, so that's where we're gonna start. Because enemies will eventually have to walk on those spikes too. We're gonna place them there. Now we're gonna come over here and basically repeat the same strategy for wave two. Don't worry about one or two enemies bleed through, not that big a deal. If uh, more than about four get through at once, you're gonna have a problem. So we're gonna pop the shield again. And then we're gonna start backing off until we see a health potion of some sort. Actually, it looks like a bit too many enemies got through. But we were lucky in that the health potion was there. So, there's a bit of RNG with Garth, but fighting in front of the Guardian here is actually the prime situation. As you can see, the Guardian is just tearing through these guys. And when you, if you have to fight near the barricades with Garth, hug the walls. Alright, you definitely want to pick this guy up. Alright. And we're just going to mass Z because Hogarth has no free time. None whatsoever. Alright, and then rather than putting too many things over here, we're actually going to make this pretty much all ice fence. This will help significantly against these guys. It won't it will deal more damage to the shield bearers than the um the Arctos is going to be able to do early and it will allow your guardian to basically take them out before too many things get close which is going to be super important all right and then he's going to pick off a few of those guys and we're going to leap to freeze these again all right and then we're going to grab muscles which will give us even more hp over time Using the rift to heal. Alright, and then we're going to get one more Saw of Arctos in here. 
build this path out a bit more. And place this killed many enemies. A few more ice shards. <laughs> Alright, and again, don't try to knock the fight on top of the barricades, as that's very bad for you. Alright, now we may have a problem. Uh, killed one of those guys, so we're kind of okay. We need him to kill at least one more before we let any more enemies through. It looks like we're good now. Alright, and then we're going to leap and go grab that health potion. Luckily that guy was frozen already. We're going to grab this one too. Nice. Now that that wave is done, one more block and then a whole lot of ice spikes. And now we actually have some really interesting things we can do. So. We don't really need to actually fight close to enemies too much anymore. Uh, the ice spikes should handle the majority of the kobolds. We are going to be firing the ice amulet pretty much non-stop to slow down the bigger enemies so that they don't stuff up the uh, traps. And you can see that they're sort of just getting run over thanks to the high volume of ice spikes that we have. And then when these guys get here, there's pretty much not much left for them to do. I'm gonna use our guardian to regen a bit while we can. And there we go. Looks like we have a few more coming. Uh, I'm gonna set an Arctos on the side just because the larger enemies may actually touch it. A few more of these ice spikes. And then go back to firing our uh, lovely ice amulet. Just don't let the kobolds get through and you are a-okay. Alright, now there's a few other things that we can do to make this even Here's better. Block off this area. Take those remaining saws of Arctos that you have, place both of them over here, and a few more ice shards. Now that guy, get as good an angle as you can on him, try to hit him with your axe for whatever reason that glitched, not much I could do about it, good old server errors. Alright, and then we're going to avalanche, and I missed that too, that kind of sucks. Alright, and then we're going to Unchained, and he does so little damage that it's better for us to just fire the Ice Amulet at him repeatedly. Alright, we're going to stand near Mr. Battery here, and use him to just repeatedly fire this. And then we basically have to sort of combo aggro with the Guardian. Guardian can't be frozen, but we can. And just use him to deal the rest of our damage. Now, we're already over par, so... at four stars just because I really don't think I feel like going back through that with Hogarth but I was through that over by 24 seconds that likely could have been fixed by placing more ice spikes and less Arctos uh, because the ice spikes have well because of the fact that they're more traps uh, they basically function as individual pieces of damage versus the uh, the Arctos' AoE, and because they regen individually, they can actually wind up dealing more damage than placing the Arctos. So, I don't know. 
I think that's probably the best way to go through it with Garth, although more Ice Shards and less Arctos may be even better. But I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments. And uh, actually, since I've completed the daily and all three of these, I'm going to pop open the chest now. All right, got some cursed ground. Ceiling ballistas. Great wall barricades, nice. Big game hunting arrow wall. Not really a fan of those. All right, another Rift Lord victory chest. Some decoys have way too many of those. Mana wells. I could use a few more. Shield power ups are nice. And push traps. Don't really need too many more of those. Now this is what I got from five starring it originally with Zoe. Mana well, nice. Wall blades. I guess I could use a few more. Brimstones. Well, I'll level those eventually. More brimstones. Okay, I guess they're telling me to level it now. And some more dragon lances. Alright, another Rift Lord chest. Mana well. Ooh, got a lot of those now. 999. Ceiling ballistas. Good. Cursed ground. More shield power ups. And a capacitance attuner. So. Capacitance the tuner is nice. I think I had one already. Basically boosts um, power ups that you get. All right, here we go again. More mana wells. They love giving you mana wells. It seems. Flip traps. Those are nice. More ceiling ballistas. Brimstones and. Some more power generators. Nice. I should be able to get those to about level 3 now. And the final victory chest. Temple Alarm Gong. Cursed Ground. More Brimstones. Grinders. All around, I think that's a pretty good haul for... Uh, a set of weeklies and the daily challenge either way um, I hope you guys enjoyed this again feel free to leave me any feedback and until next time guys have a good one